Hello again. Today is the follow-up video to the Samsung SA unboxing I did a week ago. And today I'll compare the three phones that I have and tell you the good points and the bad points and which one is the overall winner. First of all, we're going to have a look at the iPhone 7. This first came out in September 2016. It's 138 grams, 7.1 millimeter thick. It's on iOS 10.3. Uh, this is the 256 gigabyte model. It's only got two gigabytes of RAM, 1960 milliamp hour battery, 4.7 inch screen, and it has 326 pixels per inch for the density. 12 megapixel camera, and that's all for now with that one. I'm going to have a look a bit more depth with the camera and video later on in the video. Oops. Uh, this doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack, but that's fine because I use the Apple AirPods and I use Bluetooth for that, so I don't miss it at all. It's very responsive after seven months, it's had no lag, no problems, no crashing. It's been perfect, a great phone. Nice and thin, nice and light, nice and portable. You can see my fingers touch together so I can hold it nicely in one hand and my thumb can go from the top to the bottom easily. And it's great. Right, next we'll have a look at the Xiaomi Mi Mix. This was released in November 2016. 209 grams, almost 8 millimeters thick on Android 6.0 still. Um, this is 256 gigabytes of storage and 6 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty. 6.4 inch screen with six, uh, 362 pixels per inch. So it's not much more than the iPhone, even though it's a much bigger screen. As much bigger phone, I can't touch my fingers together on this one. Uh, it's difficult to use in one hand, and especially without a case, it's very slippery and so you must use the leather case which makes it that little bit thicker. And last of all we have the Samsung Galaxy S8. Released last week, 155 grams, 8 millimeters thick which is the thickest phone, 7.0 Android. It's 64 gigabytes storage but you can increase that by another 256 gigabytes if you wish. It's got a 5 inch, uh, 5.8 inch screen which is 570 pixels per inch 12 megapixel camera, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 3000 milliamp hour battery. As you can probably see, it's about the same width as the iPhone, and top to bottom of my thumb isn't too much different. Uh, so I can reach most things on it. I do usually use my phones with two hands um, because I used to be quite clumsy and drop them. So it's nice and responsive, nice and fast. Samsung phones do get a bit slower over time though, so I'll keep you updated if it does lose any performance. Okay, so first up I'm going to do a little camera test for you so you can see what the camera images are like. Let's just uh, sort this out and find something to take an image of. I've got a little coconut jar here that will do. Um, right, let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll have something, some sort of measurement so all of the photographs are exactly the same. Uh, right, okay. Let's use the, the Xiaomi case. Okay, so if I put that on there and then make sure each camera is the same equal distance away. It's a little bit close. Bear with me here. I'll get it sorted. Right, okay. So I'm going to put my little finger right on the edge of the case here and take, try and get exactly the same photo with each camera. Right, okay, so this is the first photo. That's the iPhone. Next up, we have the Samsung S8. Let's take a quick picture of that one. Okay, there we go. So have a look at each image. You decide which one's best. Leave a comment in the descriptions down below if you want to. And Let's go on to the Xiaomi. Now with this one, you need to touch and hold, otherwise it comes out a bit funny. There we go, and that's that one. Right, this is close-up image, iPhone 7, the S8, and the 
the Xiaomi Mi Mix. Right, okay. Next up, we'll do a little video. And again, I'll try and get exactly the same video with each of the phones. And I'll start with the iPhone again. Sorry, juggling three things here. Okay, video. I'm going to just go around in a quick circle. Okay, just go up, around, so you can see my remote control cars, and back down again to the start. Now I thought that the the brightness on this didn't go very well. It had lots of high and low spots. Not the best video, which I was surprised about really. Right, time for the Samsung. Let's see how we get on with this one. Up, RC cars, coming back round, and back down to the bottom. Okay, stop that one, have a look. Okay, light to dark seems much better on this one. Colors seem better. Okay, sometimes Samsung can blow the colors out and make them too bright, but I haven't found that on this one. My S7 was terrible. I couldn't take pictures with it because everything looked like a clown. And the last one. Up we go again. RC cars. And back down. Okay, last one. Just take a look. This one's just a little bit juttery. Yeah, mm, not the best video. Okay, so the three phones again. Just to give you my final thoughts on this. The iPhone, I love the iPhone. It's a great phone. It is good quality. It never let me down. No problems with it whatsoever. Software is always good. Fingerprint sensor is perfect. Fingerprint sensor on this one works well. I haven't had any problem. Lots of people have been complaining with it. Um, I haven't had any problems at all. When I have a case on, I don't smudge the camera, so I haven't had any problems. And the retina scanner is excellent. The Xiaomi is the fastest to unlock, I think. It unlocks instantly as soon as you touch the fingerprint sensor. I don't know how I can do that so you can see it. But as soon as you touch it, it's unlocked. And it's responsive, and it's fast, and it's a great phone. But I have to give it to Samsung this time. The Samsung is, overall, the screen size is big, but the phone size is small. The screen is clear, the videos are clear, the, the video recording, the camera, everything about the Samsung is perfect. It's what I want from the iPhone and the Xiaomi at the same time. So it's got the iPhone reliability so far, the camera is great, everything. It's not as big as the Xiaomi. I love the Xiaomi. I love the way that you can have two memory card, uh, two SIM cards, and 256 gigabytes of memory. But it's just no good for putting in your pocket. So Samsung, you can have two two SIM cards if you wish, or a SIM card and memory card. The camera is great. It fits in your pocket, and you can get some really nice cases for it. So anyway. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you missed the S8 unboxing last week, then please click on the link and it will take you to that video. Many thanks for watching, see you next time.